In Minecraft, there are hidden options that are so powerful that Mojang does not want you to know about them. And these options will allow you to cheat in Minecraft in the sneakiest way possible. So some of your favorite speedrunners might be using these cheats. So my name is Dex, and today we are going to be looking at some sneakiest way to cheat in Minecraft. So first of all, the movement speed. I hope you guys know that if you travel one block in the nether, then that equals to 8 blocks traveled in the overworld. But I can change the thing really easily using an NBT editor. So I currently have Universal Minecraft Editor and this is for the uh, PC version. If you have phone, then you're gonna be using this thing called Block Topograph. So this is basically a text file editing software, but it's a little bit more advanced. So let's go ahead and go right here. If you go to world settings, then you'll see the nether scale. So if you were to change this thing into like a thousand and then go to Minecraft, then one block traveled in the nether equals to a thousand blocks traveled in the overworld. So check this out. I'm gonna be going to like right here. So I've traveled nine blocks in the X axis, which means I should be at 9,000 blocks in the overworld. That is so crazy. This is some extreme stuff. And if you were to do that, then it's pretty easy to get caught because it's like so obvious, you know? So you don't wanna do like 1,000. What you wanna do is basically like nine or like 10 or like 11. If you have coordinates off that you can even go to like 20 and nobody will realize it probably. The next hack that I want to show you guys is an actual movement speed hack. So you want to go to local player, a player's local player, and then go to abilities. And if you have to change this thing, the walk speed to like one, then you'll be able to walk 10 times faster because 0.1 is the default value of the walk speed. So look at this. I am extremely fast. I'm the fastest boy alive in Minecraft without a speed effect because I'm so cool, bro. So what happens if I do uh, like 100 or 1000? Let's see how fast this thing is. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. Okay. What? Okay, one click. <laughs> this is so fast. I'm gonna be clicking W like one time real fast. Yo, what? <laughs> this is so fast. The chunk loading speed is not fast enough to catch up with my speed. I am extremely fast. I'm 10,000 times faster than a normal Minecraft walking speed. So if you do this, obviously, then one, the game is unplayable and two, everybody will know that you're cheating. So you don't want to do this thing. Uh, what you want to do is basically uh, just change the walk speed to like 0 0.105, which is like 5% faster than a normal Minecraft speed. So nobody will realize that. I mean, maybe somebody will realize it because your friend's speed will stay the same, which is 0 0.1 and your speed is 0 0.105. So it's a little bit faster. So they're going to be having a hard time catching up with you. All right. So the next option that I want to show you guys is the knockback resistance. So let's just say you're on a cliff and your zombie hit you and you die because you fall off a cliff. That sucks, you know? So if you change this option called knockback resistance, then you can reduce the uh, knockbacks that you get. So let's go ahead and go to uh, attributes and then let's find our knockback options. Should be like right here. There we go. Base one, current one, bam. And let's go ahead and let's see what the uh, knockback resistance do in Minecraft. You do not get any knockbacks at all. So if you do that, then obviously everybody will notice. So what you wanna do is basically just do 0 0.15. I think that's like the sweet spot. Like you get less knockback, but nobody will ever realize that because it's so small. Yeah, I mean, if you're like a Minecraft veteran, then you might be able to realize it. But like for me, I don't know, like I've been playing Minecraft for almost 10 years and I can barely realize it. So the next hack that I am about to show you guys is really interesting. So this is also in local players right here, players, local players tab right here and attributes and then 
right here. It's right here. And this is called the lock. So if you were to change this thing to like 1024, then you'll get a lot of lock in Minecraft. So what the heck does this lock option do? All right, let's make a little pond and then let's try to fish for some good loot. Bam, for the first loot, we have gotten the Nautilus shell. And I don't know what the heck happened there, but we got an enchantment book for the second loot. And what is this? I call affinity and efficient a knockback. And for our third loot, we have gotten the unbreaking, mending, and power bow. So if you haven't realized by now, the lock option increases the lock while fishing. But like, it's pretty dope because you can use this to like just fish one or two times and you can be like, oh my God, I got so lucky, bro. I didn't get any fish, but I got all this crazy loot. But actually, you're just a dirty cheater. So this one is the last hack that I am about to show you guys. And this is the achievement hack. So I'm pretty sure Mojang does not want you to know about this. I currently have like most of the achievements not unlocked. So right here, bodyguard, create an iron golem. I mean, it's really easy in creative mod, but like in survival mod, you need a little bit of work to do that thing. But I am about to show you guys a really easy way to accomplish any achievement. So first thing, you want to exit the world and then make sure that the world is in survival mod. And also make sure that the cheats are off and then go to the text editor and then right here, the world that you just played, world settings, and it should be somewhere around here. Has been loaded in creative and change this thing into zero. Okay, and then go back to Minecraft and then you're gonna try to turn on the activate cheat. If it says turn off achievement, then you're good. Just click go back and then go to the Minecraft and let's check again. And as you guys can see, the bodyguard achievement is still not accomplished. So let's go ahead and create this iron golem. And let's see, bam, 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 and bam, and then bam. Alrighty, so we created an iron golem and it's gonna take a while for the achievement to be accomplished. So we're just gonna chill right here and let's see what happens if I hit this thing. And will it hit me? No, it doesn't, because I created this thing. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm your father, bro. But yeah. Uh, it should be uh, getting accomplished pretty soon if you wait just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna fast forward this video without cutting it because I don't want you guys to um, suspect that I'm cheating. You know, I'm not capping bro, this is no cap. And yeah, there we go. 3% completed, 3 out of 144 is completed. And there we go. We have the bodyguard achievement completed, just like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Mojang does not want you to notice. I am pretty sure because that was so easy. Lastly, if you wanna see some more crazy Minecraft hidden options, then go ahead and check out this video out. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video.